This is question number 19 and we are told the average speed of a pickup was 20 km per hour faster than the average speed of the lorry. The pickup took 45 minutes less than the lorry to cover a distance of 180 km. If the speed of the lorry was x km, Roman number 1, write the expression in terms of x for the time taken by the lorry and pick up respectively to cover a distance of 180 kilometers. So we are told uh, uh, time is equal to distance over time. Uh, so not time but over speed. So we have a uh, lorry. Uh, the distance was 180 divided by the speed. The speed is x. So time taken by the lorry is 180 divided by um, x. Then uh, for the pickup, uh, the distance uh, time is equal to distance is 180 and the speed of the pickup was 20 kilometers per hour faster. So it is x uh, plus 20. Uh, these are hours. These are hours. So that is the expression for time taken by the lorry and the pickup. Uh, then Roman number two, determine the speed of the lorry and that of the that of the pickup. Now the pickup took 45 minutes less. 45 minutes less is three quarter of an hour. It means that if we take 180, uh, 180 divided by x minus uh, 180 divided by x plus 20 then it should be three quarter of an hour so you can simplify this uh, i'll not go through the uh, multiplication but if you cross multiply you end up with a quadratic equation x squared plus 80 that is you cross multiply here uh, plus 80x and then we have minus 60x and then we have minus 4800 uh, that should be equals to zero so you can simplify this and say x squared uh, plus 20x uh, plus 20x minus uh, that should be uh, 400 and 4800 and 4800 is equal to zero if you factorize this equation you will be able to get x plus 80 and you get x minus 60 so here we have x so this is equals to zero it means x is equals to 60 if x is equals to 60 uh, it means that the speed of the this is a so we can put it here it means Rory that is uh, Rory was 80 kilometers per hour uh, we can write that um, properly 80 kilometers per hour and uh, that is uh, and the and the pickup was 60 kilometers per hour because it was 20 minutes uh, faster than that of the rolling so that's uh, how you, you you work it out from there we go to part b of the question we are told that the distance between town a and b is 240 uh, on a certain day the pickup started uh, the from town a at 8.30 a.m. and the lorry started from town B at the same time. Determine the time that the lorry and the pickup make. We can use two methods. Uh, we can say relative speed relative speed is equal to the speed of the car of the pickup uh, plus the speed of the lorry. So it is 80 plus 60 and that is equals to 140. 
kilometers per hour so this speed uh, the distance was uh, 240 so you can say uh, time taken is equals to distance 240 you divide by the relative speed which is 140 and this when you divide using a calculator you get it is uh, it is equals to uh, 1.7 1.7 uh, and if you con 1.7 hours if you convert this you'll be able to get it is a uh, it is the same as one hour uh, for 43 minutes so this way you add to the 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 time they, they started so 8 30 you add to one hour uh, that is uh, you add to one hour 43 minutes and you'll be able to get they arrived at 10 13 10 10 13 uh, that is am the other method is uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can say uh, x the, the, the where they met x over 80 uh, x over 80 is equals to the time they already uh, took to cover x this x distance is the same as 240 the total distance uh, minus x the distance covered by the rory and you divide by the speed of uh, the speed of the of the pickup which is 60 uh, so if you equate this uh, you should come up with an equation multiply a cross multiply and you still get uh, time is uh, 10 13 so you can work it out 10 13 a.m. so that is how you work out that question uh, the speed the, the space provide the, the space I have here is a bit limited but uh, you should be able like solving this equation you multiply 240 times 80 minus x times 80 you multiply by that then you will be able to solve that you still be able to get 1.7 which is about uh, to convert 1.7 you multiply that is one hour you multiply 0 0.7 times 60 and that is what will give you 43 minutes so that's how you work out that question and you should be able to score uh, 10 marks these are two marks seven marks uh, three marks totaling to 10 marks